it can be a bit of a challenge if you've got a crop that doesn't like wet feet. Soil compaction is, is um, a big issue in Nova Scotia, and the more I do this, the more I see. Um, again, it's one of those hidden concerns in soil, and unless you really uh, take a look at it with depth, or if you have a penetrometer, you're not going to really know it's there um, until you might see some, some effects on your plants, and, and by then it's, um, you've already uh, felt the consequences of it. Um, uh, if you are in a position where you have a soil pit dug, I take a spade, a jackknife, some people will use like a coat hanger to see if it bends, and you can actually just kind of go down through the face of the pit and just feel the tension that it requires for you to try to push that spade through the soil. This actually isn't too, too, too bad. Um, it's a, right off the bat, I know there's quite a bit of silt in this soil. I can, I can feel that. I can also feel the change here when you get into that gravel and cobble. We'll jump right into what I first see, I guess, in this, this soil pit, um, which I think is really interesting um, and a little puzzling. First of all, I'm, I'm standing in water. <laughs> so that's obviously a clue that um, although the soil's um, draining on the surface, it doesn't look too bad. There's no puddling water. There's standing water at depth. And if you look at where we are in the landscape, in a bit of a depression, um, uh, what's puzzling is that this lower material of the parent material looks like it should be fairly well drained. It's got um, some, some beautiful gravels and cobbles. It's very friable, not a lot of uh, structure or stickiness to it. So it's likely a glacial till that was deposited here. Um, and uh, you'd think that would be quite porous material and would drain well. Um, so, uh, but, but we do have this, this water here. Uh, what's really interesting is this bee horizon. And um, what it's starting to show you is evidence of what we would call glaying and modeling. And the glade sections here, you can see, you get these um, gray colors. And uh, what, uh, what causes these colors is the oxidation and reduction of iron. So I always say the, um, the, the orange-like colors are like the same reaction of rust on your vehicle. It, it produces this kind of gray color. And the two colors, what they're telling us is when you see this, this, this gray color, this glade soil, sometimes it can be um, smell anaerobic. So it has kind of a sulfury smell to it or a stinky smell. You want to smell that, Alana? <laughs> that one's not too bad. No, but you can get sometimes that, that kind of strong smell. And um, it's showing you that this soil is anaerobic. So there's no oxygen in this soil here um, because of water. And there's pockets of it. So um, you'll also notice there's not a lot of structure. Um, I'm actually prying this out, um, likely because of the fine soil particles. The soil texture here is quite fine. Within these sections of glade soil, you also get these models. Um, and you can see these orange ribbons almost. We call that modeling. And what that is, it gives you an indication actually of where the water is moving. So you can see in this B horizon, it appears as though there's some movement of water coming up and down through this profile, uh, with some of it staying wet, as you can say, see by this glade soil, and some of it um, um, draining, draining a little bit. So uh, it can be a bit of a challenge if you've got a cr crop that doesn't like wet feet. I would say this is a great candidate for tile drainage. If you're seeing these, these soil clues, these color clues of, um, of uh, glaying and modeling, um, you, you definitely want to think, think about drainage. Um, as I say, this lower sea horizon is just lovely, and that it really looks like it would drain quite well. Um, but the fineness of this structure, I think, is, is what's happening is when it rains, um, the, the water's coming down into this area. We're in a depressional area. Uh, it may be infiltrating fairly well through the topsoil, but then it's sitting here. And I think that's what's happening, and it's just taking so long to actually move from that, that horizon.